Hey everyone, if you have an old iPad or tablet or mobile phone that you are not using anymore, well let's try to give it another interesting news and see if it becomes valid as a second monitor for your PC or for example as a status monitor for your gaming PC. Alright guys, the first tool that you are going to need for connecting your iPad or your mobile devices to your computer is called Splashtop. I'm using Splashtop but you can find other tools that are basically similar to this one. This is free, you can download it on your PC and also on your iPad or Android devices. If you want the wireless version, you are going to pay, if I'm not wrong, like $5 or something like that. I would highly recommend to use the wired version of this software because you are not going to face issues with, con with the connection and also with the battery because if you connect it to your computer basically your devices are going to be char recharging the battery from the USB port. Here we have not that much settings to change. We have the frame rate, the quality and the resolution. The frame rate I would suggest to leave it in normal because it's not really the mobile devices they tend to don't have high frame rate. Quality normal because you can try between normal and high. It depends if you're connected with USB tapes type C or not because this one is going to change the quality of the image that you're going to see on the mobile devices but also you might need a high speed USB connection the resolution if you click here you're going to go through the resolution settings as you can see here the iPad has the default resolution I won't suggest you to change this leave it as it is because you are going to see Kelly properly all the things if you go through advanced we have um, enable mirror mode which is uh, basically mirroring the main display which I usually don't use it but you can use it if you prefer if you open the app on your mobile there is not much you can do there is only just the interface which is showing you to connect waiting for the connecting the iPad on your, on your device and if you click on this settings icon here there is nothing you can change it's just saying to you to download the app on the computer and to install it and just to plug your device into the computer there's nothing you can else that you can change or you can do here all the settings on the resolution and everything else can change it on the computer so guys if you want to connect your mobile device and use it as a second display on your computer you can use splash top wire it display and that's all but if you want to use that mobile device connected to your computer as a status monitor while you are gaming or doing other activities so you want to see those temps those frequencies and those other status monitor information well we need another tool which is ada 64 extreme in this case i believe they offers you one month of uh, evaluation if it's if i'm not wrong anyway and with that you can start testing and checking if this is the software for you while using Aida 64 Extreme is allowing you to use the mobile devices as a mo status monitor, the River Tuner Statistics Server is the tool that you are might need for showing the FPS on your uh, mobile devices using, of course, Aida 64. I would suggest you guys to download and install also the River Tuner Statistics Server. So, in combination with Aida 64, we can see those informations on the mobile um, device. So, before diving on how you can change and how you can set up the sensor panel let's go through some preferences and some settings on either 64 in order to prevent either to scale improperly the resolution on the, the mobile devices so what you have to do is opening the preferences and going through the sensor panel tab as you can see here and what you have to do here is change the sensor panel size according to the sensor panel of your mobile devices in my specific case with the ipad i tend to use this one as uh, 190 20 with 1080p let's say so this is the resolution that you might want to use this is going to prevent the scaling go crazy with ada 64 because ada 64 doesn't fully support the resolution of the ipad which is uh, 1600 and 1200 if i'm not wrong so this is a sensor panel size that you want to do when you are showing the sensor panel on the ipad display so let's click on apply okay here and another thing you might want to do you have to go through the ada 64 app pro properties and you want to go through the compatibility and then change high dpi settings this you have to click on this one which is showing high dpi scaling override so the override will be performed by the system either 64 is not going to change automatically what is going on with the resolution on that specific display another thing you might want to change is enabling the river tuner statistics server with start with windows and show on screen display so you are 
would always be able to see the FPS on your sensor panel on Ada 64. All right, let's go through the settings on how you can set up the sensor panel. I'm not going to go through all the details because I have made the video. You will find that video in the description down below. In that video, I have been configuring a small display, but the same settings applies to also here if you are using a mobile device. So the first thing first, what you have to do is show sensor panel. So you have to we have to flag on the show sensor panel. So once you flag show sensor panel, then you can go through the sensor panel manager. So in the sensor panel manager, you can add all your sensors, you can modify them and so on. For example, let's take this and this example, which is the FPS sensor. This is based on, as I was saying, on the reverse st statistics tuner. So if we click on modify here, then as you can see, we have the plugin of Riva tuner statistics server here. If you don't have that plugin, you are not going to be able to see the FPS on your sensor panel in any display. So once you are sure that you have set all the settings, what you have to do next is keep sensor panel the topmost windows always on top. So whatever you are going to open on that display, whatever app you're going to open on that display on that page, which in this case is the mobile device, nothing is going to overlay with the window of the sensor panel. And then you can click on the prevent sensor panel from being minimized. So again, once whatever you are going to do, the sensor panel is not going to be minimized. And you have to lock panel position and lock panel size. Once you are sure for what of all the settings, you can check all these flags here and you can click on apply. And this will prevent the sensor panel to be moved or to be minimized or to be changed in its settings. So let's say that the sensor panel is going to stay always on that mobile device. Of course, if you close the splash top while the display agent, that is not going to happen. So you are going to lose the connection with the mobile device. And is of course, if you close it also on the mobile device side, you are going to have the same issue. So as we can see guys with a couple of tools, basically all of them are free tools. You can give a second life to your old devices. So you can use it as a status monitor or as a sec second display as whatever you want to use it. So allow me to say one last thing. 90% of you guys who are watching my videos are not subscribed. So if you find this video helpful, consider subscribing and hit the like button. And don't forget to enable the notifications. Thanks a lot for your support and thanks for watching.